Durag Wisdom, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Y2K19.08.01. And I would like to talk to you a little bit about the debates, especially about the master debaters. And we were treated to some intense master debating, but the climax was ruined. <laughs> Joe Biden is the front runner because it is his turn. Not because he's qualified. More about that later. The Democratic Party is afraid to be progressive. The Democratic Party uses the same talking points on socialism and the border that the Trumpists use. Similar, similar. The Democratic Party, except for Inslee, is unreal on climate change. They, along with Trump, dither while we burn. Climate change, ladies and gentlemen, is an emergency that we cannot ignore. Like the, the mayor of uh, Amity and Jaws, no white shark in the water. The Democratic Party is running against a Nazi, a racist traitor named Trump. So why are they spending their entire time critiquing President Obama? Leave it to the Democrats. These debates, as far as I'm concerned, are a debacle. Because the Democratic Party is turning these debates into a reality show beauty contest. Who we're going to pick? Who's in the contest? You see how the unreality of reality TV, the unreality of the movies and TV have seeped their way into our society, into our culture, into our life and death lives? You can never get someone's full policy in a one minute soundbite during these debates. Reality show crap. Michael Moore. I was very, I mean, when I listened to this, I was quite, it was quite interesting. Michael Moore believes that Michelle Obama should run for president, that she's the most popular Democrat, and that she would do the best against Trump. She's not going to run. And it just makes me feel a little more secure that I'm not such a hypocrite, because there are certain criticisms I take uh, seriously. I mean, I mentioned before I, I support... Uh, the I supported President Obama, and someone came back. I can't remember. Uh, I'm not going to say their name now. I don't want to be a uh, you know. And they said that they felt that I was being untrue. They felt that I should be supporting the real socialist candidates, whatever. And um, they they quit the site. They decided they didn't want to subscribe. A sad thing, and I understand, but the fact is, here's Michael Moore, and he's supporting, or he would support, Michelle Obama, and it makes me feel good that someone who I consider who is, who is more socialist than I am, and yet is a actually, whether he believes it or not, is a socio-capitalist just like I am because he has commodities and probably private property. I understand why where he's coming from with, with Michelle Obama and I understand his feelings about her and it makes me feel good as, again, that someone who I consider a little more socialist than I is supporting corporatist Michelle. Yes, Michael Moore, I would vote for her too. The Democratic Party is running against a Nazi, traitor, Putinist creep who if, is, who if he's given a second term is going to destroy our country and yet they're critiquing President Obama. Wait a minute, didn't I just say that before? You have to excuse me, I'm turning 69 this month and my mind is starting to slow down. Imagine a second term with that creep. Hmm? A second term? He'd like to have maybe more terms. 
I intend to vote personally for the most liberal candidates that I can. I outright personally reject middle of the roadism. Even though, yes, I will support the Democratic front runner even if he or she is a middle of the roader. And I hope that we run a she and I hope or I hope we run a she with a bit of color or just color because we've had enough white men running our ruining our lives sometimes over the 240 years of our country. No matter what, no matter if the Democratic Party, and I've said this so many times, if the Democratic Party runs a pile of crap with a smiley face on it, I'm going to vote for it because we don't want a white supremacist, Nazi traitor, Putinist, birther, bastard, hair monster, scum, thug, bully, Trump in our White House. You can't compare the Democrats with a Trump. Anyone who can say, well, yeah, I could vote for Trump. You can't compare. This, this is a Nazi white supremacist creep who put concentration camps on our southern border. Locking up migrants, separating families. Just like the Nazis did, except he's not started murdering them yet. But some have died, yes, under his watch. He'd kill more if he had his way, and he's waiting for us to give him permission. These debates, these democratic debates, these reality show debates. If only the Democrats were not so good at master debating, because they simply are spraying their useless ejaculate all over us. Yuck!